haven't done a one of these talking vlogs in a while, so I figure why not record one since I have nothing else to do. Yeah, it's almost my two months uh two month anniversary here in France, and I just hit myself. Yeah, it's almost been two months since I arrived, and it, I don't know. Like now, I have a hard time uh, imagining how life was back in San Diego. Like. It's, I don't know, it seems really normal to just like wake up and uh, get ready for school, go take the metro, sit down in class, even if there are three hour uh, did this, those are horrible. But yeah, I don't know, like I've gotten used to just walking the streets of Paris. It's really funny how it works. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's so hard to like think about how my life used to be back there like I used to wake up earlier and I had to drive to school I love I like the metro a lot better than driving and looking for parking yeah I don't know I've been really enjoying it here just like I said in my other video I don't know I'm, I love it here my French is still pretty sucky well my spoken French but then again it's not like I been practicing it like a lot my comprehension is getting a lot better because I now I'm being able to write notes a lot quicker. But still, <laughs> when I'm sitting right next to a French person, I see their note taking skills. It's really intimidating because they just like don't stop writing. They just like write almost like every single thing that the professor says. And I'm just used to like the American styles, like bullet points, make sure you write the important things. So I don't know, like, if I do uh, bad in my first uh, test or essay or whatever, I'm probably going to have to, like, record uh, the lectures just to make sure I get everything. But um, so far, so good. I have I've had to switch classes because one of them required me to know, like, French, uh, French, Greek mythology. Mythology, Greek mythology, and uh, have a knowledge of Latin texts, and I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know anything about that, um, so I dropped it. So now I think my class is set, and if everything, if all my classes transfer back to my home university, I should be done with my French major by this semester, which makes me really happy, because then next semester I can just focus on my minor, and I don't have that many um, credits to do. So I should be done with my major and my minor by the time I get back. So, yes. This is one of the shirts I wore, uh, I think the second or third day that I was here. And it was like pretty tight <laughs> when I uh, first wore it. And now like, I don't know, it's, it, it's just, Paris is the best diet <laughs> I've tried. Seriously, it, it, it proves you can eat anything as long as you uh, walk or do some type of uh, physical activity. Yeah, and keep your portions small because Cheesecake Factory portions are not, uh, they're just like, they're like three portions in the plate. <laughs> I can show you something. Uh, I ordered the St. Vincent um, Strange Mercy limited edition white vinyl. Yeah, I was fangirling about it, but it arrived and it's so cool. Okay, so this is the vinyl. Yeah, that's the cover. I love it, so... I don't know. It's such, it's such a hipster vinyl, uh, vinyl cover. I mean, album cover, whatever. But yeah, right here, and then you open it, and you get all the lyrics to the songs in the album. Yeah. But wait. Wait just a minute. Look at it. It, it is amazing. Ta-da! Oh, voila! Yeah. This is the white vinyl. Yeah. Too bad I don't have a record player here or back home. I need to buy one when I get back home. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to like listen to it. Although I've listened to it digitally, but it's not the same thing. And uh, yeah, inside there's like the code to download it um, digitally, but I already had it for a while. Um, yeah. So yeah, best album. 2011. Right here, St. Vincent. Strange Mercy. Listen to it. Uh, now it sounds like I'm promoting her. And I'm gonna see her in Paris in November. So I really, 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 
I hope I get to meet her so she can autograph it and then that will just make, uh, I don't know, my year. <laughs> I don't know, I... Okay, the thing is, here in Paris, um, like, back home in San Diego, let me tell you, um, back home in San Diego, like, um, it's not like, it's not that indie, uh, music is not popular, it's, I don't know, but most artists go and play in L.A., but when an indie artist, or, I don't know, someone in the, that's not mainstream comes to San Diego that I love, I'll go, like, if there's, like, no questions about it, like, I need to go. Here, the problem with living in Paris is that I need to be selective with my concerts because everyone comes here. Like, I never thought I was going to have that problem, but I do. The day that St. Vincent's going to be playing, Paul McCartney's going to be in Paris too. Yeah, I know. Because I've been wanting to see St. Vincent, but it's Paul McCartney. But still, I'm going to see him on my birthday. So, that's even better. But, um, yeah, like, I need to be selective here. Yeah, I can't be like, I want to go see this band, this singer, and uh, this DJ, because I, dude, it's not, it's not um, cheap to go to concerts here. Uh, I think that's it. It's going to turn out to be a really long vlog if I, oh, Phoenix documentary today. I'm going to watch it, and I'll, uh, maybe I'll record a vlog about my thoughts about it, because everybody knows I love Phoenix, the band. I do. <laughs> you probably think it like, why am I following this girl's vlog? Like, seriously. She's such a dork. But, yeah, that's me. I'm still a dork here in Paris. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. And, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm kind of, like, hyper. But, yeah, that's, that's what happens when I haven't talked to myself, in, um, well, to my laptop in a while. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll... Um, until the next post. <laughs> Bye.